Hello, Insiders family. Welcome back to another episode. Ha! Ah, today, my dear, we are discussing the topic, what if you're not attracted to your partner anymore? And by partner, we are saying, you know, it doesn't have to be a married relationship because we know some of us these days, we have committed relationships where partners have been, been together for a while and having sex with each other for a while. And so it's not just for married people because we know how it is. <laughs> so sex is what you're not attracted. So it's, it's sexually, you're not attracted to the, to the person sexually. This is a very hard topic to talk about. <laughs> No, we were we, we, we put it out there for some of our, our fans, our followers, our friends, our family to tell us what they would do. Aisha, what would you do? Whoa, this one is so, so hard to talk about. But um, for me personally, it depends on where. Because I believe that there are stages. Okay. Of... Um, Attraction? Yeah. So I, I'm not sure. It, it depends on are where we in the relationship we are now. If we're now at the place where we're just fighting every day or we're, taught, we're not having sex any at all. We're not on speaking terms. It, it just depends on where we are because more I tell you first, I'll say me, me I run. Me, All right, so, so, so let's not take it um, so far as to say we're not on speaking terms because then if you guys are not speaking and it's not just a... Um, I like a one fight where it wear off after a while. If you are in a relationship where things are just not going well and you guys are not speaking, well, that's I mean, the first far. the first thing I'll yeah. do is I see counseling. That's the first thing. I mean, if other things are not working. If me talking to you or us coming together and making it work on our own, you know, I, I would seek professional so, so, help. So for me, I'm looking at it on, um, from the point where, okay, I'm together with my person married or otherwise and you know before things were okay mm -hmm. sex was good and everything but as time passes you start feeling like okay uh, I can't bother whenever it, you know the sex conversation comes up whenever it's time for sex you just cannot be bothered you don't really enjoy it it's just not happening the way you want it to you just don't want to do it any of, at all and this can happen I guess both, I mean, I think it happens more for females, mm -hmm. but I think it can happen, you know, mm -hmm. for both um, partners, whether the male or the, 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 the female. So when you are there, what do we do? <laughs> That's what we're looking at today, guys. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. It's, it's a big one. It's a heavy one. And it's, it's a heavy it's, one. It's a real thing. Yeah. It's something that affects so many relationships, you know, so we are looking at it. We're tackling it. We're dealing with it. And we were so happy for those who, you know, gave their suggestions. Some people say leave. <laughs> Some say run. <laughs> Some say ball. Some but before say ball. <laughs> we go into this topic, we want you to know that it might be a little lengthy yeah. today because we want to try and, you know, dissect some things and just really flesh out some real issues yeah, yeah, yeah. so um i don't know go and get up some, some popcorn or something yeah. get some water for dry stick your throat <laughs> stick with us you want to watch all of this video yeah man and give us your comments of course please and we're talking thank you. Yeah? we're talking and right now we ask that you press that thumbs up button guys if you're not doing that for the other episodes remember that it helps the algorithm for other persons to see the videos that we're posting so please go ahead and like it right now press that button right now and subscribe if you have not a lot of persons are watching the videos and they're not subscribing we can right. see that in the analytics right please subscribe if you have not yet all right we're gonna delve right into this topic right now Ooh. yes take a breather so relationships they take real work right our bodies, they start to change after we have kids, you know, work comes into play. We're talking about taking care of the home, all of that burden. And so now sex is the least thing on our minds. And it should not be that way. It should not be. <laughs> but that's how life is. Because no, it's not about, I don't know what, what, I don't know what's different when we were younger. Maybe because we didn't work, we didn't have kids and all those things weren't into play. We were more 
I don't into things. Yeah. And things and were just spontaneous. And you probably put more effort into it. Yes. And you tried harder for some things. Right. Maybe, I don't know. But as you mature and as you're now in a committed relationship and now you're raising families and stuff like that, it gets harder. And so it means, therefore, that we need to put more effort into everything that we're doing. Right? Now, this can cause strain on the relationship. And before you know it, you don't want to have no sex. I don't want nobody to come ask me for no sex. Not touch me. <laughs> not, not, not do it. You understand? Yes. You don't have no butterflies in your stomach again like one time. Because me tell my husband, say, babes, oh, me not feel no butterfly again. It doesn't mean that I don't love you. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, that, that, that butterfly that we used to get when you calm upon the phone and me just have skin me till I mean, a sense. But, you know, in topics gone by before, we would have talked about some of these things and we're saying, okay, so we're just, right now, we're just laying it all out there and saying some of the things that happen. But definitely know that this is a, this is a no-no. It's not okay. Yeah. Some people may wonder what you mean. How yeah. it's possible for me to be in a relationship with my partner and don't want to have sex. I can see some people, like, turning up their <laughs> face right now, like, what are you talking about? Yeah, there can be so many things happen, you know, the, the, the shifts happen. It's just like you mentioned, you know, we yeah. get older, we start taking on responsibilities and, and all kinds of things happen and, and we just, we, 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 our minds go to mm -hmm. different places and And it's whatever. very normal. It's very normal. And it happens to just about any of us, you understand me? It's not a, a specific type of pe person or, or, or a specific type of people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It happens to mm -hmm. all of us. Mm -hmm. for, for, for some, the lack of attraction can be temporary. Yeah. I, I can relate to that because I remember having a personal experience where after having my son and, you know, getting contraceptive to ensure that I don't have number two right behind that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I started having some shifts hormonally. Yeah. And at first I did not realize that that was what was causing it. Yeah. But sex wear miss. I don't want him to look nor touch me. I don't want him to look at me. Yeah. You understand yeah. me? And, you know, it started becoming a problem, not necessarily just for him, but even for me saying, why me don't yeah. feel yeah. like mm -hmm. I want to have sex? I, mm -hmm. You know, th there's no horny feeling. There's no, you know, I'm, I'm starting to wonder if me dead or if the doctor mm -hmm. take out some out. <laughs> <laughs> a baby. Yeah, if them take out some with the baby and the baby alone, you know, it, it started becoming a, an, an issue. Yeah. So it can be a temporary phase yeah. and you, you mm -hmm. grow out of it. Mm -hmm. But um, it can hurt a relationship. Mm -hmm. And if you realize that this, this is something that is continuing, you have to do something about it. So it's it. not if it's not a temporary feeling yes. and it's continuing, that means that something is wrong. Yeah, man, something wrong. Something is wrong. If you are not at a certain age, especially for men, where you know that men, when they reach certain age, all age, you know, they become impotent, mm -hmm. you should be desiring sex. Yeah. You should want to have sex with your partner. Yeah. And for women, sometimes when you're going through menopause, it causes all kind of yeah. imbalances yeah. in your body mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it happens temporarily yeah. that you don't want to have sex but usually you know the feelings start to come back mm -hmm. or, or whatever i don't know when i'm not sure when it exactly happens where a woman just don't want to have sex forever and ever amen maybe when they reach about 80 and yeah, then I don't know. totally yeah. dried yeah well, I'm not sure. Because, I mean, you, you remember that 83-year-old woman that we saw? She needed Christ. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> we don't know when it happens for, for, for women like that. But once you are still young enough to be actively, you know, getting erections and feelings for sex in your body, mm -hmm. you should, you know, be having sex with your partner. You should be att attracted to your partner. So once you find that it's not happening, then something is wrong. And yeah. you have to fix it. So we're going to look at the potential parts forward. If this is happening, if it's a continuous thing where you are, your heart is just not into it anymore. Yep. Let's look at how we move forward. So first, you have to recognize what's happening. Mm -hmm. And we always say that. Like, be aware yes. that something is totally wrong. So you can't fix right? something if you don't know that something's wrong. Right. And in a case like this, it's very easy for us to hide our head in the sand and not talk about it. True. That's how we are as human beings. It, I mean, it's very sensitive. It's a, it's it a sensitive is. topic. And it can make you very uncomfortable. Yep. Yeah. Yep. But you have to accept the truth, knowing that, listen, it's not going how it used to go. You understand? And if you love this person enough, we'll have to sit and talk about it. Mm -hmm. We have to talk about it. No. if it is that you have to reevaluate where you are in a relationship, reevaluate 
what might have caused us to reach where we are, but you have to do something. Yes. That's the first thing. Just recognizing that something will happen. Babes, you not know, touch me like you used to touch me before. Right. And then, as you mentioned, that if we're, if we're going to become aware and, and acknowledge it and, and seek out the, the issue, you know, sometimes we have to remember that some medical issues can be what is causing this thing to happen. So if it's not that you and your partner having, you know, issues otherwise mm -hmm. in the relationship maybe you need to go and talk to your doctor mm -hmm. whether male or female mm -hmm. because you see the mm -hmm. man them you see the man them have a little problem with the man them right here so them find out say something not so right in a them body mm -hmm. or something not feel so the way how it's supposed to feel mm -hmm. but being men you know they shy away from seeking help yeah because, I mean, they believe that they shouldn't be having any problems mm -hmm. and, and maybe having problems make them feel weak. I don't know. But they don't seek help. And when you do that... It goes back to the ego. Yeah, when you do that, it's not helping anybody. It doesn't yeah. help you and it does not help your partner. Yeah. Seek help. Go to your... The, the, the gynecologist or the urologist for the men and say, listen, something is happening in my body mm -hmm. and I don't think this should be happening. And... We need to fix it. Help me fix yeah. this. What's going on? Definitely. Find because out. at the end of the day, we didn't reach her by accident. Exactly. exactly. Something happened along the way. We just need to figure out what it is. Yeah. And, and just like everything else, sex needs work. Yeah. You know, sex is something that you have to work at in Definitely. your relationship. Yeah. So ask yourself the question, ha, <laughs> how important sex is to you? How important is sex in a relationship? For me personally, listen, if I'm not having sex with my partner, I don't need, I mean, I don't need to be with you. <laughs> if I, I mean, if we're not having sex, it means that it's like a friendship. And if it's a friendship, I men I need to live in the same house with you. I, 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 have, I, I mean, you know, when people come together under the same roof, teeth and tongue must meet. Issues arise that you're going to have to put energy and effort into working on. Mm. So if sex is not going to be at the center of all of that, why me I do it? <laughs> sex is very important to any relationship. If you're in a relationship and it's not a friendship relationship, sex is very important. And if sex not happen, me not think nothing is happen right there. So. But you know that some persons, it's not a big deal for them, right? It's not like a... I don't know, like... What you have, if you are in a relationship and sex is not a big deal, what you have is a friendship. That's just my opinion. You can say, I mean, when you reach a certain age, after being in a marriage or a relationship for like 40 odd and much in odd years when man get impotent, as I said, and the woman them stop desire sex and you guys grew old together, you know all about this, the ins and outs of having sex with each other. You did all of that and you had all of your fun. And you reach that point where, okay, we can't do nothing more now, but we are enjoy each other's company until we're dead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fine. But if you are in a relationship and you're not having sex, I don't think that's a relationship. I think it's a friendship. And if that's an agreement that you and the person make that you don't have a friendship, that's well, fine. fine. Yeah. But if you are in a relationship, sex is important. Somebody made a joke the other day. I don't remember if it was a show or what it was. Somebody said... <laughs> somebody said... Um, if I wanted to, like he was saying, if I wanted to have occasional sex, mm -hmm. I would have stayed married. So him and the, the lady divorced. And okay, yeah, if I wanted to have occasion, somebody was talking about something relating to the relationship. He said, if I wanted to have occasional sex, I would have stayed married. It's wrong. It's not right. We're not supposed to have occasional sex. And the truth is, a lot of times, that's what we are doing. Yeah. Uh, occasional sex. Before I got married, you know, girl, we couldn't wait. Mm -hmm. Because me just, in my head, me just I got done the sex. <laughs> me just I got done it. I got done down the place because before, you know, because of, of, of certain beliefs that we had, we grew up with, um, having sex before marriage or out of marriage is a taboo. It's a mm -hmm. taboo issue and like, you know, whatever in our setting, our surrounding. But when me and Timbo forget the married, at this, so everything starts for me. Mm -hmm. So if after I get married and start realizing that this is not happening or whatever, there is a problem. Yeah. That's a problem for me. I'm supposed to have done the sex. I enjoy it because... For me, I was saying it to you the other day. 
When you reach a certain age, sex is one of the main things that give you any form of entertainment and enjoyment in your life. Yeah. Because certain things you stop doing. So how important is sex? I mean, sex, when you not have sex, people, people cheat. Mm-hmm. Um, relationships break down. Mm-hmm. Relationship mash up. Mm-hmm. I mean, all different kinds of ha- uh, things happen. Sex is very important. It's mm-hmm. kind of like the glue that holds a relationship together. Once you're in a committed relationship. Once you're in a committed yeah, relationship. That is. Yeah. You cannot be in a relationship that's not a friendship and not be having sex. And you're supposed to have good sex. So basically, you're saying then that because it's so important you need to work on it yes you have to you have to you have to work on all the different parts all the different aspects work on the emotional attachment between you and, uh, and your partner if you realize say, something is shif- shifting there because guess what over time as you mentioned when you started over time because of different things that we start to deal with the way that we used to do certain things or pay attention to certain things, it changes, it, yeah. changes, it mm-hmm. shifts. We start to feel differently. We become tired and overwhelmed. And I can't bother to put all the effort and the energy. A true man, come and feel so enough time. And not yes, and like, I can't it bother. happens to me like, I mean, all right, here's one of the, the things with me. Enough time. Let's say, for example, I am home and my husband is out and I'll be there doing my little thing and I feel the feeling, you know, that feeling there and I just are planning on my head, you know, what I'm going to go on when the man comes in at the night, in you know, man. And everything, plan out in my head. And by the time night comes down and I reach home, or just before night, I reach home or whatever, and you know, you don't cook dinner and everything. It's like, I'm tired of man, I can't bother. <laughs> it's true, but then, some of the time, I tell God I'm mighty truth. I'm not busy business nobody wants to say, if you want to look at me different, listen. I mean, it happens to the best of us, yep. right? You have times when I'll go maybe like uh, two weeks without. Yeah. And it's like, uh, it would just hit me one day like, when was the last time you had sex? And it, it not really bother me. It really doesn't bother me because... And, and that's it. When you reach a certain stage too yes. in relationships, I mean... Yes. It's not all about the sex, but you know that it's important. Please get the difference. It's not all about it, but you know that yes, it is so it's important. Not like, I mean, it's not like the honeymoon phase where every day right. you're just around up in night. You know, it's right. not like that. But it's still very important. And you have days when I'm genuinely just tired. I just yeah. can't do it. And maybe even negotiate with that tomorrow. <laughs> yes. Tomorrow, come back tomorrow, please. And if me tell you tomorrow, me I'll you tomorrow. Me not gonna tell you, come, t- um, come and tomorrow then and no then man, me, tomorrow me, again. Yeah, no. Right? But you have to make the extra effort. And the partner who needs it and is asking for it, whether a man or a woman, you have to understand that the partner tired sometimes. Sometimes you too. get tired, yeah. Right? Sometimes Just understand, but it's very important though, guys. Very yeah, important. Man. Yeah, man, definitely. Because sometimes too, you have a time when me tired and my husband insists and when we start getting it, like you must say, nobody tired again. <laughs> you understand, like in the middle of and it. And you know, so I'm, I'm glad you mentioned that because guess what? Sometimes, you know, you, you, you're, you're genuinely tired mm-hmm. or you genuinely feel mm-hmm. like you're just not in the mood or whatever but if you push out the extra effort and, and start you'll be surprised to know that the feeling that you had before changes it does. and you begin to enjoy it and you got all over it and you can't remember say I, I, I really made it tired you feel shame when you're done because yeah, like you the boss say tired tired. <laughs> you're tired you're sure you're tired yeah it happens like that but we really have to put the effort into it because that's what happens because no one say the man always did it, or the woman always did it. Mm-hmm. Sometimes we'll we brush it aside and say, mm-hmm. Cho tomorrow, yeah, man, and tomorrow is the next tomorrow, and the next tomorrow, and yeah, the next yeah, tomorrow. Yeah. You True. understand me? We we'll brush it off because the person is always there. And, you know, somewhere in the back of the, our, our minds, we're thinking, I already know what the sex feel like. I know I got am yeah. already, and, and you know, you predict all or whatever. And, and some of the time, too, you just want to reach the finish line. The camera, the, a start up, the starting up the two. You get me? It takes too much energy. Yeah, people, it happens. Yeah, sometimes it happens. That does happen. <laughs> it does happen. And that's why I say sometimes you have, to, you, have, you have to just push through the first part. You have to. Because you see, once you start getting into it and you get, catch the vibes, you're gone clear. Yeah. But just to start sometimes, just push it's just through it. very difficult. Yeah. It's very difficult sometimes. But you just have to make that effort to push through it. Yeah? Yep. The next one that we're going to look at is be honest with your partner. Cannot stress this enough. Yep. Cannot stress this enough. It's important to be honest about your lack of attraction to your partner. Now, this... I'm going to make somebody oh feel bad sometimes. Yes. 
But it's best if you tell them and then feel away then they don't tell them and make them feel like say everything happened and, and it good. It, it it's best. Right? Yeah. Honest communication can assist you in releasing resentments. True or false? Because trust me, when you're not attracted to somebody and everything just a come down pound, you, you start resenting them, you know. Because no, why your purpose? Yes. What's your purpose? You can't do nothing else to please me. No, you you're, you're not why your doing purpose? For me. Me don't, me you. I'm not getting the pleasure. Reach. Yeah. Not getting anything. Me not like you. Me, me not like you. Yeah. So you have to be honest. Me not if you got him saying I like them and that my mean. <laughs> what I'm saying is let me clarify. You come now and say, all right, babes, we're going to have a conversation. From the other day, me not really feel you. Me not really feel loved again. Me not really feel it when we have sex. Me know something is, is, is just lacking. And for the men, this can be a very hard conversation. Yes. It's very hard. So we know. to hear this. Yeah. They, they, they want to know that they're performing well. So it's very. You can't go to go say. You, you can't do it. Because the most. And <laughs> you them cannot do that. No, no. That's not what we're saying. So in honesty, you see, sometimes, you know, we, we, we as people, we tend to believe that, okay, once I'm telling you the truth. It doesn't matter how I say it. Yeah, you're wrong. no, 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 no. Mm-hmm. You're wrong. You mm-hmm. have to know how you bring this honesty to the person. You cannot do it in the way. You can't stop all in the middle of sex and say, you know, some of feel this. Yeah, get up. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah you can't and do y- that. You see, no. as women, we need to stop believing that it's only the men alone that can't please us. Sometimes we, we it's sometimes you. not please them. Yeah, sometimes we not bring the energy either. Right, and sometimes you are not feeling, you're saying that you're not attractive and you're not feeling whatever, and the problem might very well be you. Yeah. So you have to think about that yeah. too. So you can't go there, go believe, say, oh, you are God Almighty, Bruce Almighty, <laughs> <laughs> and oh, nothing is wrong on my side. Yeah, I'm it's not fingers. a blame game. It's Mm-mm. not. It's about fixing your relationship. So if you realize that something is going wrong, you could say, babes. I don't know if something I want, I don't know if something inside of me, I don't know if I check out the doctor, I don't know if I call that a baby, I don't know if I call me a breastfeed. If I even start put it on you first, yeah, if you don't make yourself. it look away, mm, mm. but you can't just go there and blame the man and the talk about oh, why you not get up. <laughs> when I kiss you, why you not get up. And any little thing that is causing the problem, you can't just go, there, go, go throw it in my face. You cannot do that. Yes. Right? But you still need to be honest. Yeah, because That's what then, we're saying. you see, what happens, you know, in a lot of times, because you see, this topic that you, this part that you, of, of the topic that you, you're on, you know, it's a big thing. Yeah. Because so many women right across the board, they are not being pleased. They're not, um, they're not attractive to the, the, the man sexually. They, they, they're not enjoying the sex and they just pretend. Yeah. They're there just acting like it's all good. They're just open and let him enter and do what mm-hmm, he's doing mm-hmm. and it goes wrong two ways so you're there not enjoying it and pretending like you are with your lied self mm-hmm. and he's there like she did i'm boring she just let up mm-hmm, on her back so mm-hmm, whatever mm-hmm. and sometimes i'm not giving anybody no um go ahead for go cheat but sometimes these things can cause people to cheat because you're not putting any effort and energy into the the, the sex and the man feel like, yo, I can't bother with this and him find somebody who is doing it. And in the same way, the women, they're not enjoying it and whatever. And somebody comes and gives them something differently. Yeah. And, you know, whatever. And the cheating happens. You know what, guys? Um, at the end of the day, you have to love your partner so much that you just have to find the strength to be honest. You have to love them enough to say that, you know what? Let me talk to them about this. But what if you're being honest? What if you're, 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 you're being honest? Because right as I said, that something just comes in. What if you're being honest and, you know, nothing is done differently? Like, them don't change nothing. Then I try to do nothing differently. Wait. Then it's out of your hands now. No, you need to probably take it outside of just you trying to talk. Maybe you need to say, all right, then. And then this is another thing that maybe we're going off to know about. You have other persons who will talk to the person and say that, babe, this is happening. And then they, they flip. Mm-hmm. And they start being defensive, and yes. they say, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't be the one talking. Can we go counseling? No. Yes. They don't want to do that. But if you really want the relationship to work, you at the per- the receiving end, mm-hmm. you have to just understand that if I love you enough, we have to work on this. Because at the end of the day, I just me just have you and you just have me, you know. Yes. And if me can't talk to you, oh, oh it's a go work. That's so true. That's so you true. You are my you're supposed to be my person. 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm in a business how bad the relationship get. You have to always remember that before they reach right here. So we were good at some point. And, 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 and people grow and change. So yeah. sometimes things will change, but you can get back to the point you can where get back. You, things you are good. You can go to them and say, no, no, man, no, man. What, what really are going on? Because we know. Some more, in a most instances, we know exactly why we fall off track. Yeah, and sometimes we're not being honest or upfront about it. We know exactly <laughs> why. Yeah. Sometimes it's because there was infidelity in the relationship. And it's like, let us can move past it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Right? That so we know, in most cases, we know exactly why we just, we just not move past that bump here. Because more, I just want bump, you know? Yes. What we need to get over, you know? We have to actually go through the process. and, and You just and have to get thing. through the process. If you love the, if you see where it is worth working on, you just have to get over that. Otherwise, why stay in it? Why stay in it? <laughs> active listening people so you are, we're being honest so you're gonna sit and you're gonna talk but then you need to have active listening going on as well mm -hmm. it's important and it, you know it's something that you would do around the kitchen table or in the bedroom whatever it is talk to your partner about you know what turns you on and vice versa so if it is that because like i say we grow and we change yeah what used to turn you on when you were homochin does not anymore something new might be what turns you on now so you guys need to actually talk about these things share these things be open to hear you know and share so don't just feel like okay you're just gonna you know tell the person and tell the person and tell the person and you're not listening and the person who is hearing you need to actually hear listen and actively you know try to make sure that okay i'm, I'm receiving what you're saying and i'm gonna try to do what you're asking me to do so that we can get past this hurdle you understand me we want to 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 try and and just change the things sometimes you know as i say it, it, it happens that your, your, your libido is, is no longer at the level that it used to be. And, you, you know, it's going to take some work between you and the person to make it work. Let me and tell sometimes, you this. You know, we don't know. Because right now, I was just about to try and give you, like, examples of what you could do. But what might work for me don't must work for the other person. So you guys have to work on what it's going to be. You see, this topic that we're discussing today is so much deeper than... It's, it's deeper than what we've, we are bringing to this, yes, right? It's so much. It's so and much. And you just talked about um, what we used to do back then versus now, right? And you have the persons who will just stick on what was used the to. The one thing that they know. Yes. Right? The one thing that they when know. When we were young and dumb and used to do it in the back of the car, why do you feel like we're still supposed to do it in the back of one car? Like... We, we have grown past that. Yeah, you but understand? then sometime, you know, one, one and two time, you can say, and, then, you, not and that is car. true. <laughs> that is so true. But you have just the person to who some stuff, are just yeah? going to stick on, let's do it way. in the car. Mm -hmm. Like, when you now have kids and live in a nice... You have to find other ways You, you have, have to, to find creative. other ways to yeah. get creative. You can't just stick to the... Or let Moko go in at a mango tree, or <laughs> you, you can't just sit to the way you need to come off of the things where you used to do and try and implement, improvise, do other things. Yes, yep, 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 yep. We have to do it, rekindle the romance. Have I to. think we, we mentioned something about this before where you have to realize that you have to put effort into it. The, I was reading a book the other day that says sometimes, when, especially in, in married relationships, after we get married, sometimes we just stop working. We stop trying. Yeah, man. We stop trying to we'll do win the, the race no. we, Yeah. We have reached and we have stopped trying. And then sex becomes boring. The relationship get, becomes boring. Um, you know, everything just becomes monotonous and, and, and it's a routine. And we just keep repeating and going around in the cycle. And that is a definite killer. Mm-hmm. For, for, for you being attracted to your partner. When people's bodies start to change. Which it does and we can't stop it. Yeah, you reach a certain age and you start putting on weight certain places or whatever. And mm -hmm. things about the way you used to look are different. If, if I was attracted to you looking a certain way and your body changes. I guess I'm going to have to rewire the way I, I, I look at you. And, and become attracted to you in a new way now. Yeah. You understand me? So... Yeah, we, we got a lot of work to do. It's a lot, a lot of work, of people. Work. <laughs> so for the persons out there who are single and seeking to get married, and this is not just for the married couples, as we say, the committed yeah. relationships where you say, this is it, this is him, this is her. A wall heap of work. So if you cannot do it, don't go in it. It's a yeah. wall heap of work. If you're not willing to do the work, 
Don't bother with this. It's not for you. A wall of work, man. And it's of course, you. we're looking at the last one. And it's couples therapy. <laughs> and this is when it really reach. When it gone to a point where you and the person can't do it by yourself You cannot do it by yourself. Yeah. And please note that they not it's not a we're not saying that the steps that we just list you have to do it in order because yeah, it depends on where you are in your relationship and so you, you may have tried x you may have tried y and now you just need to move on to something else we're just saying when you've tried it all and it ain't working try a couple's therapy go talk to some professional who actually yeah. know what is happening they can give you the right, right kind of advice the persons who them, them don't necessarily know you saying so I feel not too bad, but go yes. talk to somebody because <laughs> that's our biggest problem. You don't want problem. people to know your business. You don't want people to know, especially yeah. the men. Yes. Yeah, it's going to be hard for men to talk about this in, in, in therapy. Yeah, man. Sex go and somewhere, not being attracted If I even for book 10 appointments with 10 different people. <laughs> I know you're probably not watching the progress that way. But <laughs> you know about our day at but, all. <laughs> I'm just saying. The person don't know you, right? And in life, me always say it. We, we can't go through the life you're alone, you know? Yeah, man. Else would that day you're alone. Yeah. Right? Would I all have a planet for ourselves? If that was the case, yeah? We need help. We're not great at everything. And there is somebody who knows just a little bit more than we do or can show us something else, show us a different path. Well, it, it probably did a long time, you know, but we're not see too blind for see that path. Exactly. And right? sometimes they can open our ears mm-hmm. to what we, our partner has been saying and we are not hearing it. So because the person has constantly been saying these things to you over and over, sometimes as soon as them start talk, all your ears, blah, blah, yep. blah, blah. when somebody else it's, comes in now and they start to show you the same thing from a different angle and you realize, Okay, so that's which what you sometimes were piss me off because <laughs> hello, I was saying that years ago. Yeah, but they never hear. But they never hear. So when somebody else comes and gets involved now and start to show you, because sometimes you're over here thinking, but I'm right and and I've this and I've whatever. But the person can now show you up and show you where you have faltered. Yeah, and then the next person can see. Oh, okay, so that's what she's saying and whatever. So sometimes we need intervention. We do. Sometimes we need intervention, and we have to know that. The truth is, some relationships may be far gone, mm-hmm. way too far gone to fix. <laughs> but before you get bitter with your partner and hatred comes in and disrespecting each other starts to take place. And that's the bad it's thing. best <laughs> you separate. Remember, once you, you once loved the person, mm-hmm. don't allow hate to guide your decision so Mm -hmm. even though we're saying if you find that you have done all of these things and nothing works and you know you're gonna say all right i'm i'm done it's over you have to be sure you have to be at a place where you start thinking about you know what before i start disrespecting the person i once loved let me move on you have to be mature enough to say you know what before me hate you let me just move on and it's not easy. I'm not saying that, oh, it's a decision that you can just and make like hate, that. The hate, the hate that you're mentioning, the resentment, it's yep. just like you said earlier, the resentment, it creeps up on you. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you don't realize that that is what is happening until it reaches a certain point. But when you, if one day you look yourself in the mirror and you realize that, okay, I'm behaving really badly. Till now, people person. are pick up. Like, me yeah. talk to you, and me not even know that me talk to you in a certain way. And people on the outside of the corner are like, why should I talk to her husband? So, why am I talking to him? Why? So, it, it gone bad. Yeah, you have to stop, take check of yourself, and say, all right, this cannot continue. Mm-hmm. And, 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 the last part of it where it says don't allow hatred to guide your decision so don't just get up and left this money because now reach a point where me just hate you and yeah. stand you and whatever because yeah. guess what you know what i know a lot of times people walk away from relationships like that and then they go on to enter into new relationships with that same thing yep because yeah, it never fix it never go around there so so the bitterness is still there you will go into a new relationship and destroy that relationship just because of what you did not fix in the first one yeah so you have to really look into it you have to really work on the stuff yeah everything about this life and, and relationships is work <laughs> well for the persons who did respond yes to the, thank you the question that we posted on instagram and facebook Funny as hell. um we're gonna read the comments that you sent in 
or advise me. Some so of you advise me. No, no. I will put on a counselor <laughs> otherwise. Because <laughs> someone said, and I won't be calling the names, but you might know yourself if you're watching. If I had a husband and didn't like having sex with him, pray. LOL. Right? <laughs> Well, I can say love. Pray alone, I'm going to fix you. Me say. <laughs> you better put in some work in it as well. Me say. You want to read the next one, Taki? All right. So this person is saying, you can talk it over with her. Because, of course, it's a male. So mm -hmm. he's saying, talk it over with her and see why either change uh, or either change things. Spice it up. And if it don't work, leave. <laughs> Straight up. Next one. Wow. There is nothing else to do but leave and find your equal because that's a must in a union. Now, this one is, this person is saying, listen, you better find a way to fix it because cheating is not an option. <laughs> and this is coming from a man. That's good. Cheating that's is good. not an option. So find a way to fix it. Hello? <laughs> uh, the next one says, communicate, tell them, be, be open. open. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's some of the same things yeah. that we're saying. So we just know that, you know, you just have to be open um, and just have to be aware, just have to be willing to work. It's a lot. But if you want this relationship to work, you're going to have to do it. Yeah. I guess we're going to be looking, you know, sometime to come. Mm -hmm. We're going to be looking at some other things that can cause. Because if you notice, we didn't talk so much about the causes mm -hmm. why people why? Are, no, are no longer attracted to yeah. each other. So we're going to be looking at some of those things in another episode. The things that can cause us to get to that point where we're no longer attracted to our partner. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, please let us know what you think. And just, just let us know what you think in the comments below talk talk to us just just yeah, tell man, us we want to hear from you that's why we keep saying this because you know it's just like how we're able to read these comments now yeah sometimes you know you can guide us with your 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 comments you can give ad advice and, and suggestions that we may not have, uh, have yeah thought about, so yeah because i'm sure us. we didn't touch on a lot yeah man of things so and share have with us. individual experiences exactly you know, understand so we also, want to hear from you um this topic came from actually a viewer <laughs> so we ask that you continue to Comment below so we know right. the topics that you wish for us to talk about, you want us to talk about, so that we can touch on them. Remember, guys, like the video. Again, like the video for the algorithm. It helps us and other persons to see the video. Just right. like you are seeing it. And I mean, these videos, we need to share them, right? Yeah, man. So, share it with your friends. Like the videos for the algori algorithm subscribe. to go Subscribe. Subscribe. Press the notification and, button. Yes, press it up. <laughs> Comment, 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 comment. And if you can, please share. Join us next week as we speak on the other topic, which is what are the things that could happen for us to not be attracted to our partner anymore. All right? Yes. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>